the B-52 Stratofortress was born in the early days of the Cold War as a response to the growing need for a long-range strategic bomber. In 1946, the United States Air Force issued a requirement for a jet-powered, heavy bomber capable of carrying a 10,000-pound payload over 5,000 miles at high subsonic speeds. Boeing began working on the project, initially designated as the Model 462. However, as the Cold War progressed, the Air Force revised its requirements, asking for a bomber with a range of 10,000 miles and a payload capacity of 25,000 pounds. In response, Boeing went through a series of design iterations, ultimately leading to the Model 464-67, which would become the B-52. During the development process, one of the most significant design changes was the switch from a straight wing to a swept back wing configuration. This change was inspired by research captured from Germany during World War II, which showed that swept back wings significantly improved high-speed performance. The B-52's design also incorporated a unique tandem landing gear arrangement, with outrigger wheels on the wingtips, to provide stability during takeoff and landing. This innovative design allowed the B-52 to carry a much larger payload than its contemporaries, making it the perfect platform for delivering nuclear and conventional ordnance. After years of design and testing, the first prototype of the B-52, designated the XB-52, took to the skies on April 15, 1952. The aircraft's impressive performance quickly convinced the Air Force of its potential, and the B-52 entered service in 1955. Since then, it has played a crucial role in America's strategic bomber force, serving as a powerful deterrent to potential adversaries. The B-52 has participated in numerous conflicts and missions throughout its long service life. Its first combat mission came during the Vietnam War, where it dropped conventional bombs on enemy targets. During Operation Desert Storm in 1991, the B-52 demonstrated its precision strike capability by delivering cruise missiles against key Iraqi targets. More recently, it has played a crucial role in Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom, providing close air support and precision bombing. Despite its age, the B-52 remains a vital component of the United States strategic bomber fleet. To keep it relevant, the B-52 has undergone continuous upgrades to its avionics, engines, and weapon systems. One of the most significant upgrades is the conventional rotary launcher, which allows the B-52 to carry a mix of smart bombs and conventional weapons. Another notable upgrade is the combat network communications technology, which enables the B-52 to communicate and share data with other aircraft and ground forces in real time. The B-52 is expected to serve well into the 2040s, making it one of the longest-serving military aircraft in history. Despite being an older platform, the United States Air Force recognizes the value of the B-52's range, payload, and unique capabilities. As a result, the Air Force has embarked on a comprehensive modernization program to ensure the B-52 remains a relevant and potent force in the years to come. One of the most significant upgrades planned for the B-52 is the replacement of its current engines. The new engines are expected to be more fuel-efficient, quieter, and require less maintenance, extending the aircraft's range and lowering its operating costs. This will enable the B-52 to stay in the air longer and reach targets that are farther away, maintaining its strategic advantage. Another planned upgrade is the installation of the long-range standoff weapon, a next-generation nuclear-capable cruise missile. The LRSO will replace the aging AGM-86 air-launched cruise missile and provide the B-52 with a reliable and stealthy standoff weapon that can penetrate modern air defenses. In addition to new engines and weapons, the B-52 will receive advanced radar and electronic warfare systems to maintain its edge on the modern battlefield. These systems will improve the aircraft's situational awareness and ability to detect and evade enemy threats, ensuring the B-52 can carry out its missions effectively. The B-52's continued relevance is also due to its adaptability to new missions. In recent years, it has been employed in maritime surveillance and reconnaissance roles, thanks to its long endurance and ability to carry various sensors and equipment. 
This versatility ensures that the B-52 can contribute to a wide range of missions, even as the nature of warfare evolves. As unmanned systems and artificial intelligence become more prevalent in modern warfare, the B-52 may also be adapted to work in concert with these new technologies. This could include operating as a command and control platform for swarms of unmanned aerial vehicles or even potentially being refitted as an unmanned aircraft itself in the distant future. In conclusion, the future of the B-52 is one of continued modernization and adaptation. As the United States Air Force invests in new technologies and systems, to maintain its strategic edge, the B-52 will remain a critical part of its arsenal, ensuring that this iconic aircraft continues to soar high in the skies for decades to come.